government of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands have opened a public consultation on a draft policy for changes to amateur radio licensing. Currently, no licenses can be issued for the region due to an administrative oversight in the new Falkland Islands Communications Ordinance implemented in 2017. This has caused difficulty to major amateur radio expeditions and others wishing to operate from these remote regions. Chief Executive of South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands, Laura Sinclair Willis, explains recent breakthroughs that have been made. The government has taken a position where we've tried to reflect and to recognise the significance of the amateur radio community in the ongoing communications to remote parts of the world in the Antarctic and the sub-Antarctic regions. And we've been working as a government to try to find an alternative route to allow people to apply for licences. Until recently it was thought that we didn't have a, a legal framework in South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands to be able to do that. So our colleagues in the Attorney General's Chamber in the Falkland Islands actually undertook quite a lot of legal research to look into the statute book for South Georgia and South Sandwich Islands and actually found, found quite an old piece of legislation, in fact so old it's from 1925, called the Wireless Telegraphy Ordinance, which was republished in 1978, which provided a framework for issuing all sorts of radio licences. Now many of those types of licence aren't really applicable anymore, like a, a walkie-talkie licence, you don't tend to need those anymore, and, and a two-metre licence, but it also provided a facility to issue an amateur radio licence. And so we thought, rather than going through the process of writing new law, uh, recognising that we probably need to look at communications legislation in the territory anyway, we might as well take a piece of existing law, once we were satisfied that it was good law and was still in force uh, in the territory, which we're satisfied that it is, we modified it slightly, we've popped that on our website along with a policy saying we propose to use this law to issue licences in this way. And there are a few issues in there which I think have been quite and remain quite important to the amateur radio community. One of them is the, the prefix allocation, so what call sign you give to somebody when you give them a licence. Uh, and the other is how long a licence lasts for and how, when you should revalidate your licence or not.